today we're doing part two of the JPEG Flyer EDM. We're going to try to work our way through a series of individual steps to get the machine up and running, or at least to get it to run a program. So we have power on three phase. First thing to do, turn on your uh, isolation transformer that gets power. Next thing we'll do is we'll turn power on at the VHO2 panel, take the e-stop off, and press the on button. It takes a minute for it to actually pick up. Okay, now on page select we have initially two pages. We have the beginning page is showing where our measurements are. And then we have the second page, which is the directions, what we're going to have to deal with. We have our initial startup error, so we're typing in 19. Clears the error on this. First thing we're going to do is something simple. We want to move the table. That's all we're going to do is move the table. You notice that this red light is on, which says M table. Once that light is on, we can either use the remote controller or the controller on the panel itself, allowing us to move the table in X and Y. This is X, and this is Y. And it will work with either of the units. So the button next to M table is E table. We should be able to push E table and it lights up, but it doesn't. But if we push E table, and the left arrow, it now shifts over to the E table. Doing this, and this is not gonna, you're not gonna see this real well because that E table moves. The E table is where the U and V controllers are at to do an alignment of the upper head to the lower head. Once an E table, you take the same remote controller and you can move it. So we've done a head alignment on this. The next thing I want to do is I want to write a program to just get this table to move. That's all we're going to do. It's, it's not a serious program. We're not going to do any cutting today. We're back to M table again. Again, press the button, hit the arrow. Press the button, hit the arrow. It's going to shift these. If you take a look at the monitor on this, you can see there's a set of options that we have here. Memory call, backlash, X and Y mirror, uh, block skip, NC set, tape read, data edit. So data edit is the same as MDI on a modern CNC. That's how I'm going to input data into this machine to write my program. 